in this video we are going to be creating the site map file and the reason why we're going to create it here is because we're going to be using it to bind the three types of navigation control to this site map in order to um, display uh, different types of navigation con uh, navigation means on our website so like I said in the previous video all the three navigation controls can be bound to a sitemap file the sitemap enables you to represent the navigation relationship between pages in a single file so you can actually state how you want all your pages to be displayed the hour the hierarchy you can actually represent this uh, relationship between the pages in a file and it and this relationship is actually is not dependent on the actual physical relationship between the pages as you have stored them on your file system so if you have created uh, um, pages and you've stored some pages in the different in different folders on your file system uh, that doesn't actually detect how they're going to be arranged in your menu system because you can use the sitemap part to actually rearrange the way you you want your menu to be displayed on your uh, on your website. Sitemap file by default is named as web.sitemap and it is uh, placed in the root of the web application. Sitemap is an XML file and it is very easy to create so we're going to create one in a minute for our website. Uh, we'll also create a few more pages in order to demonstrate the uh, you know how to connect our pages together through the menu system so we we'll create a few more pages for our website which are the home page we're going to create a staff page and three uh, sub pages under the staff page we create a student page which is going to be three uh, sub pages uh, and, and three different sub to, uh, sub pages for our student page and we're going to create an about page and we're going to arrange them in this way so the home page is going to be separate we're going to have a staff page and three other pages which are sub page of staff page and in this format so um, if you remember that we created our master page in you know videos in the previous videos uh, it's always a good idea to place your navigation control on the master page because when you do then remember that the master page is used to share content among multiple pages so once you declare your um, once you uh, you know put the navigation control on the master page then that means you'll be able to see the same uh, control on the rest of the pages so now let's head over to the VWD 2008 and the create a sitemap. I've taken the time out to create a sitemap as usual but uh, I'll show you how to create a sitemap so just like we always do if you click on this icon we say add new item or you can just right click on the, the project name and say add new item you see it's going to break the this um, dialog box and you can just select a sitemap and it's going to name web dot sitemap the reason why it's naming this web 2 dot sitemap is because I've already created one so once you do that all you have to do is just say add you just have to click on add and it's going to add one for you and actually let's create this one so I can show you what it looks like uh, when it's new so as you see now we have this webs dot sitemap and I've also taken the time out to create uh, so many pages as you see I have the home page the about page the uh, staff page, the student page, and all the sub pages of taking the time out. So, you should also take the time out to create them, and you should make sure that you select the master page that they're going to inherit from if you have a master page. So, um, so now this is where the form begins. So, if you look at the site map, it's just a bunch of uh, site. Uh, at the top of it is a site map, the, but the rest of them are just site map nodes. So each node represents the top level. So this uppermost level, this you know, this is the main uh, outer layer of the site map. So then this upper uh, the the uppermost site map node usually used to represent the home page. So you, all you have to do if you want to represent this uh, with the home page now, all you have to do is say you have to remember to use the squiggle. To declare the virtual path of the so the squiggle sign the forward slash and the name of the page if the page is say page one dot aspx 
so that's the way then you give the title this is going to be the one that's going to be showing the link so you can say this is page one then you can give the description the description is usually shown in the two tips if you don't know what two tips is two tips is what just showed on my mouse now every time you put your mouse over something there's going to be a two tips that show let's try another one okay it's not showing let's see yeah, see you see it tool tip so um it's usually the one that shows from the description so you can say this is page one so just a little bit of description for your page so this is how you create a sitemap and this uh this second um, sitemap node now will be there will be uh sub sub level to the home page so you can make this one to be the products page for example product so the URL will be this uh, the squiggle for slash products dot aspx. So you can nest this uh, sitemap as much as you want. So you can always nest it. So I'm going to show you the one I've created for my page. I don't want to save it, and I actually wanted to delete it. So star sitemap web dot sitemap web 2 dot sitemap I want to delete it from our application so let me show you the sitemap that I've created for our page as you see I was saying before that the topmost this topmost one which is closed at the bottom as well is going to be used for the for the home page so this is the home dot aspx the title is home page description is this is the home page then I've created all other ones are which are going to be uh, within the uh, the topmost site map, site map node so as you see the second one is staff then I also create a bunch of uh, sub level to the the staff page which are going to be the uh, uh, sub page one for the staff and I did the same thing for the student and two different pages as well because I only have two sub pages for the about page I have three sub pages for the so if you follow this um, this system you'll be able to display your uh you should be able to use your sitemap in your web application so always remember the topmost there can always be one topmost uh site sitemap node which is usually used for the home page then we have the sub level which is going to be used for other uh, pages in the in the website so you must follow this uh, system in order for you to uh, actually make it work um, you can you can do it in another way by actually using one of these sub level for the home page as well but um, I'll show you the reason why it's not a good idea so this is the uh, this is the way to describe your sitemap so go ahead now and create a sitemap for your own page and in the next video we're going to be using this sitemap that we have uh, created to uh, add navigation controls to our website Thank you.